Hi, welcome to Auntie Nets Crochet. For this pack, I'm going to use polypropylene yarn. You can actually use nylon or cotton yarn too if you wish. I'm going to use uh, cloth. This up cloth for the uh, lining inside. And I also plan to use this plastic canvas inside. So after I've done the bag, I'm going to sew it onto the plastic canvas and add a lining to cover up. And today I'm going to use a 3.5 mm hook. And the stitch is honeycomb stitch. The whole bag is honeycomb stitch. So for honeycomb stitch, we have to do in a multiple of 2 and plus 1. Depending on how long you want the bag to be, how wide, uh, what's the length. So after you have come to the length you want, which is an even number, you add 1. So now, I'm going to make a knot. I plan to make it to a length of um, 30 stitch. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Okay, I have 30 stitches here, so after the 30 stitches, add one more and start from the second chain from the hook, I use the bum, I crochet on the bum side. From here on, do single crochet all the way until the end for two rows here you have single crochet on the bum row two is just a single crochet all around and I come back to you once I'm at the end of the row okay I've completed row one because I used the bum this is how the back will look like So now, if I start with 30 plus 1, now every row, I make sure I have 30 stitches. Now, chain 1, turn the work, and do single crochet all around. Just the normal single crochet, you go through both loop. Oops, sorry. You go to boat loop and do a single crochet. I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of the row. Okay, I've completed the first two rows of single crochet. Now we're going to the third row. Okay, wait. Should look like this and this side look like this okay here at the end of the row we chain one turn the work here on the first stitch we're gonna do a single crochet Now as for the second stitch, which is supposed to be here, we're not going to do the single crochet here, we're going to do it down here. So, the first 
stitch here belongs to the first stitch here which we already did the single crochet so now the second one here we're not going to do the single crochet here but we're going to do an extended single crochet here so if you want to know where to stitch the second one because the first one the top we already did a single crochet so now the second one we do it at the bottom you go to the second one insert your hook and yarn over just like you do a single crochet but this is an elongated single crochet or you can call it an extended single crochet so you're gonna look like this so this on the first now the second so this one behind this there is a single crochet here but it's covered by this so we take that as taken so we're not gonna go there so now the next one is here we're gonna do a single crochet the following one we're going to do an extended single crochet so where is it? it's this one this extended single crochet we skip one so in case you get lost you're not sure which where to poke make sure here this first one is for this now the second one skip one this one skip one this one so now we're going to go to this one Don't pull too tight or you'll cause this hole to be very big. Do not pull too tight, especially if you're using cotton yarn because uh, polypropylene yarn or nylon yarn it's harder so the shape kind of stay but if you use cotton yarn do not pull too tight or the hole here will be quite visible here will shrink. So you continue with your single crochet followed by the extended single crochet They're gonna look like this the front and the back I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of the row Okay, I'm at the end of the row. We started with a single crochet. We're gonna end with a extended single crochet. You make sure you still have the same number of stitches in this row. Okay, now we're gonna chain one, turn the work. This is just now the uh, here I just hide it up here I'm gonna hide all the way up here okay we're gonna do a single crochet we're gonna start off with a single crochet on the first stitch then we're gonna use this and this and do a two together okay this is stitch two and can you see this V here this V here actually we did a single crochet so now we took this strand over here so in the middle here we're gonna do a single crochet then we're gonna take this and this and do a like a two together and followed by a single crochet in the middle of this V and you continue in this manner until the end of the row I'll come back to you at the end of the row 
Okay, we have come to the end of the row. So this V shape here, we're going to do a single crochet. And the last one, we're going to do a single crochet. So let's do single crochet here. And make sure you count your stitches. Okay, make sure you have 30 stitches. I mean, mine is 30. Yours, so long you just make sure it's the same number of stitches. Chain one, turn your work. Now the first stitch is going to be an extended single crochet. So it's here, in the middle here. Extended single crochet. Then the next one here. Single crochet. Oh, sorry, it should be this one. Single crochet. And the next one, extended single crochet. This time it's between these two. Between these two extended single crochet, there's a small hole here. You make sure when you put the hole, when you put your hook through, your hook comes in between this V shape here. Not outside, not anywhere else. It should not come here, here or here. It has to be right in the middle has to come right in the middle here and followed by a single crochet and again another extended one here make sure it comes out at a V shape here And you continue in the same manner until the end of the row. Okay, at the end of this row, I had a single crochet. Count your stitches. And not only count your stitches, you make sure all this is between the V shape. Check your work every row before you go to the next row. And here, we're going to chain one, turn the work, and we're going to do a single crochet, oops, we're going to do a single crochet, and if you notice the V here, we're going to do another single crochet, before we start doing that two together thing that is take one from this side and one from this side do a single crochet so here if you think it's not neat you can adjust a bit to make it neat and then single crochet again after the single crochet it's going to be that two together again and you continue until the end of the row okay we come to the end here we end it with a single crochet and we're going to repeat the whole thing up here again so I repeat, row 1, we did a single crochet on the bum side. Row 2, we did a single crochet. Row 3, we did a single crochet followed by extended single crochet. But we end it with an extended single crochet. 
row four. We did a we start with a single crochet. We do all this two together, single crochet, two together, and we're gonna end it with a single crochet. Row five. We start with an extended single crochet. And then followed by single crochet, extended single crochet, crochet uh, single crochet, and we're gonna end it with single crochet. And row six, we're gonna start with single crochet, single crochet. Then we do the two together thing, and we're gonna end it with single crochet. So now we're gonna repeat row three, four, five, and six. So in case you didn't catch what I just said. All this will be in my blog. The written pattern will be in my blog and the link I'll share it in the description box. So from now on, it's just a repetition of what we did in row 3, row 4, row 5 and row 6. And you continue to do until the desired length. So if you miss out, you can rewind, go back to row 3 or row 4. And I'll come back to you once I reach the last stage. Okay, now we have reached the... Uh, I just want to highlight that when we reach the end of the row, if we want to know what should we do now, whether should we start with a single crochet or should we start with an extended single crochet, one more way to look at it is, instead of memorizing whether you're at row 5 or 6 or 7, I normally would just look at this part. If the minute I turn over, if I see one extended single crochet just right below here, which means I should start with a single crochet. And which means the next one should be an extended single crochet right here. And you just take your hook and poke it here, which is in between these two. It's between these two extended single crochet it should be in the middle of this V shape so it means that you start the right way so but when you turn you do not see this part you only see a space here and this is your extended single crochet which means you should start with a single uh, extended single crochet so here make an extended single crochet Followed by a single crochet, then only extended. So in case you get confused, as at when you turn, you're not sure whether to start with a extended single crochet or the normal single crochet. Just look at the pattern below this. So now when I turn, I see there is an extended here, which means here I, it should be a single crochet, and the next one should be a extended single crochet, and the extended single crochet should go here between these two extended single crochet and when you poke it here you make sure it comes out between in between this V shape and not outside and not here but here and at the end it's the same too if your extended single crochet is very far very far from the side here the last one would be an extended single crochet and if your extended single crochet is very near, the last one should be a single crochet. But anyway, in this bag, the last part here, we are going to do a single crochet all around. One row of single crochet all around the sides before we connect it into a bag. So my bag will be this way. The pattern will be this way. It's going to be this long. Okay, let's continue until we reach our desired length. Okay, I've reached the length that I want. So now, I'm going to do single crochet all around. So when you're doing single crochet all around, make sure all these corners, I'm going to make two single crochet. For corners, you make two single crochet. And the rest is just single crochet all around. Especially here, there's no visible. I mean, there's not. There's not a straight line, unlike here. Here, you can just single crochet. 
I mean, so long as it's not that far apart, just single crochet all along, and later on, you're gonna get a nice straight single crochet line. So you're gonna single crochet all along, all corners. I come back to you once I've reached the end of the other line, at the corner. Okay, I reached my desired length. I have single crochet all around. So here now it looks more straight. And it's time to cut the plastic canvas. So how to cut the canvas? You place it on the plastic canvas. And make sure when you cut it, do not cut it exactly the size of the back. Cut it slightly lower. Just slightly lower where your single crochet is and here you cut it here then inside here I'm gonna have lining to close up this part so you can either after you cut this you can either crochet it to this plastic thing plastic canvas or you can actually sew it so now I'm gonna cut it first let me measure And one more thing, this pattern, this is the honeycomb and this is the back of the honeycomb. So the back does not look like honeycomb at all, only the front. So for this particular pattern, there's no such thing as the good side or the bad side. <laughs> Previously, the previous pattern, I can choose, maybe I prefer this side to be on the outer side. But this one, no, this is definitely the outside. Okay, I'm gonna cut the canvas somewhere here. So when I cut it, you use a sharp scissors. Make sure you cut it here. You cut it here, not here. If you cut it here, you will have this plastic dangling out. So if you cut it here, it's already this side. This part you can leave it for later smaller bags. So now I'm gonna cut my canvas and once I've done cutting, I'll come back to you. Okay, this is where I stopped my single crochet just now. So I'm gonna crochet it. I bought this canvas with a big hole, a bigger hole. So if your canvas is comes with a small hole then you might not be able to use your crochet hook maybe you can use a needle I use back the same yarn you just go through the single crochet part because I want it to be I want it to be here not exactly on the edge here I just want it to start slightly a bit lower so I'm going to put my yarn here and I'm going to do a slip stitch. And you go to the next one. Go to the next one. Pull your yarn pull. And do a slip stitch. You get one straight line of slip stitch here. But here no worry because here you're going to join with the corner here, with the other corner. So you won't be able to see all this. So you continue this. You connect the, yeah, the canvas to your back all around. So either you use the hook, crochet hook, or you use a needle. You poke it in. Go to one of the holes yarn over and do a slip stitch oops sorry and do a slip stitch there. i'll come back to you once i have all the edges connected okay i've completed the stitch uh, i've connected the uh, canvas onto the back it's not easy because as i when we crochet this uh, back, 
the crochet part sometimes it goes um, crooked a bit because due to the stitches and all that so you have to have a clip or something to hold your canvas and uh, you see which part you should start first so you see I you make sure this slip stitch thing does not cover the pattern and this is how it looked like from the back every single hole I stitch it and make sure that it's the gap between the plastic canvas is the same here you see sometimes because of too tight or too loose it kind of crooked it become crooked a bit but as I when we attach this I'm gonna sew here I'm gonna sew the side here and you will not see those crooked part okay. and now after we have attached the plastic canvas your pattern will not be crooked anymore because it attached firmly onto because sometimes certain part the crochet is loose or slightly tight too tight it's kind of go sideways or crooked so once you attach it it somehow gets back together so now i can use the lining i'll show you later on how to attach the lining here and cover up this plastic part and later we're gonna make it into a bag slowly into a bag and i'll put my buckle here you can get whatever buckle i plan to make this a hand carry bag so i'm not gonna put any chain i'll come back to you once i get the lining ready okay i have get ready the uh, lining i don't have a sewing machine so i use hand so and inside here normally i'll fold it this way so that it won't chuck out so if you have any of this you can just leave it inside and if you think you want to have buckles here where the buckles you need to fasten it here you better do it now before you add the lining so at least it's fastened inside hidden mine i'm gonna use another type of buckle so i can just sew this here now so here and I sew and sew it once here once on the lining and once on the back this, this thread is very thin so if you go through here is it won't be visible so when you sew it it would be invisible and it will cover the canvas part here okay i should start here You fasten here It's too thin, I'm not sure whether you can see The thread is very thin hold it tight so you see it's invisible so I come back to you once I fasten the lining I've done sewing the lining onto the back okay I have connected the button this time magnetic button this is going to be a hand carry bag 
a simple hand carry dinner bag. I have connected this side. It's this way. I use a slip stitch. I crochet with a slip stitch. Okay, now to connect over this side. Okay, this side I haven't connect yet. I have done the lining. Okay, now to connect here. I use the yarn and make a knot. Once you have a knot, I'm going to connect here. You make sure if you have a pin or something like that, maybe you can just hold it. Okay. So I'm just showing you part of it because it's the curve of it is quite hard to show you how I crochet the slip stitch. Now I place this knot in the middle. I hook in here, I place this in the middle, then I hook in the other two. Okay. Oops, hook the wrong thing. Hold on. We do a slip stitch. This one, the tail here, I'm gonna hide it inside in between. So here, the second, the second stitch, take all four of it, both sides. Oops, sorry. Take off all of it. Yarn over. And do a slip stitch. Yarn over. And slip stitch. You make sure it's not crooked. You make very sure this is the correct spot that you want. So when you slip stitch, you're gonna get these two in a straight line. Then whatever balance yarn the tail hide it inside because we did single crochet all around so now we are using a single crochet to do this so it's quite easy okay I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna hide it inside here so here the sides will look like this So there you have it, a dinner bag, a honeycomb dinner bag. Okay. Hope you like this bag. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.